What a mighty God we serve. Those words are something that you should never mumble. Those words are something you should declare. Every time that life seems to be difficult, in spite of the difficulties, you should consider what a mighty God we serve. Whenever you're facing a mountain that seems too big to move, remember that you serve a mountain-moving God and make it plain, we serve a mighty God. Whenever you're hearing a doctor's diagnosis and that diagnosis is less than you wanted to receive, you need to remember that the God that we serve was a healer he is a healer and has promised to be your healer and declare what a mighty God we serve one of the things that is challenging the world today is that the church of Jesus Christ that was put on this earth to be salt and light has forgotten that we serve a God who cannot fail who does all things well who has promised us that if we would call upon him he would show us great and mighty things that we know not when you consider how much it took for each and every one of you to be in this place today when you consider what Hebrews had to say about the fact that his word is alive and it is powerful when you understand that every detail of everything that is happening on this earth God plans to use to bless and benefit your life it is hard for you to stand there and not understand what a mighty God we serve he is here watching over you. He has the numbers of hairs on your head numbered. He knows your name. He knows your need. He saw your problem long before it arrived and he started making plans and preparations so that at his appointed time in his appointed way above all that you could ask, think or imagine, he would open up the windows of heaven and pour out upon you blessings you cannot contain. Is the world stacked against you? Greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. World. Have weapons been formed on the opposite side? In His name, no weapon formed against you should prosper. Are your enemies coming at you in several directions? He has promised if they come at you one way, they'll flee seven. Because our God is an ever-present help in a time of trouble. His arm is not too short that He cannot reach you today. His name has not lost its power. And if you'll declare it, then in the mighty name of Jesus, every high place will be made low. Every low place will be made level. Every crooked way will be made straight. Because our God rules. Our God reigns. Our God is the mighty God. And He is great and greatly to be praised. What a mighty God we serve. Who got you out of bed this morning. Not the alarm clock, but the mighty God. Who put the sun in the sky that you might see it. Not some scientist, but the mighty God. Who is the one who whispers to you through the breeze that blows in the trees? Who is the one who has ordained this time and season in your life? Who is the one who is watching over you right now as you stand here in this sanctuary? He'll guard you and guide you when you leave. He'll make a way before you tomorrow and the next day. He'll give you strength for today and a step for tomorrow. No one but the mighty God. Church... What a mighty God we serve. 